Hi everyone, welcome back. I got a request for a programming session on inner classes. So here I've got some basic code with a class called st static nesting and um, I've got two nested classes within it and uh, a non-static one and a static one. So what I want to do here is uh, create a static int x and as I told you earlier, you cannot have static uh, members inside a non-static inner class. So I expect this to give an error. So let's go to our test file and do um, static nesting sn equals new static nesting. And let's just try doing java c test.java. So as expected, this gives an error. It says uh, illegal static declaration. Modifier static is only allowed in constant variable declarations. So uh, I've got an error here and um, Let's just try doing the same inside of a sta our static uh, nested class and This uh, compiles fine. So uh, you can have static uh, Members inside static nested classes, but not inside non static ones so that's one thing and another thing that i want to show is let's say i make this final static int x equals say 5 and i try compiling it again um, so this compiles fine too so this is just something you'll have to keep in mind that uh, inside of inner classes you cannot have uh, static members but you can still have final static members so that's one thing I wanted to show and another thing is uh, the syntax of uh, creating instances of these inner classes. So uh, we talked about the weird syntax before. So if I want to do static nesting dot inner, um, it would have to be something like sn dot uh, new inner and this should work fine. Uh, it does but let's say I don't have any of this um, and now uh, I don't want to create an instance of the static nesting class but I want an instance of this static inner class how do I do that so for that I would have to do something like static nesting dot static inner um, static inner equals um, new static nesting dot static inner and compiling this now so uh, let's do this and this compiles fine so uh, there's difference in syntax between this and uh, this so that's something you'll have to keep in mind too if uh, you don't want an instance of uh, the outer class but you want an instance of the static inner class this is how you do it and uh, actually this is uh, this is only how you can do it let's try doing um, sn dot sorry let's try doing sn dot new here and let's see what happens let's just clear the console and yeah i've got an error here uh, it says qualified new of static class so uh, basically, this is uh, the wrong syntax to do it. Uh, the correct way is to use um, this. So, uh, that's another thing that I wanted to point out. And next up, what I want to do is I want to show you um, inheritance. Um, so, let's create a new file here. Um, actually, um, instead of inheritance, let's just uh, create an interface. So uh, public interface intf, let's just save this file first, intf.java. Uh, so I do public interface intf and inside this I just have an int um, let's say y equals 10. And um, in here let's just make this extend. Um, INTF. So uh, here, what what I want to show you actually is, let's say I have an int y here as well, and um, 
for simplicity let's just make this static for now so static int y equals um, 5 um, here I believe it was 10 yeah um, so what happens if I create a method here let's say I do public um, void foo and I make this do system dot out dot print ln and um, y equals plus y so uh, let's see what happens now um, I'll have to call this method so let me just comment this out and then do um, inner dot foo I hope I've made it public yes I have and um, let's just compile this now and um, extends um, actually sorry implements sorry about that um, yes uh, java test so it just prints 10 here so what has happened here is uh, when it implements this interface uh, this y right here in the uh, outer class got hidden but in case I still want to access this y right here what I would do is just write static nesting dot y and um, let's just compile again and so as you can see this time it printed 5 um, that's because um, I'm accessing this y which has a value of 5 and um, another thing right here is let's say I remove this static and um, I actually have uh, let's say a constructor here and I initialize y to say 5 right here so um, again if I uh, remove this and compile now um, java test so again it prints, prints 10 as expected but uh, let me just keep that here and uh, compile now so I've gotten error here it says non static variable y cannot be referenced from a static context so what that means is um, alright so what I need to do is I need to use the this keyword so uh, static nesting dot this dot y and let's just try now and it compiles fine and it also prints 5 as expected so why did I have to use this this keyword basically what the this keyword means is that um, you can uh, read this as be belonging to uh, the calling instance of this class so what that means is um, y belongs to an instance of the static nesting class right so here I've got this instance sn of the static nesting class that's what has y so I have an sn dot y and um, that's that's what I want to access from here so what this means is do static nesting dot this dot y and actually I can also just try removing this and let's see what happens now and again it prints um, 10 which was uh, received from here so I need to specify that it belongs to the static nesting class but I also need to specify that it belongs to um, SN um, actually let's just to understand this better let's just make this public and uh, let's remove the constructor right here and I'll make um, two instances SN1 and um, static nesting SN2 equals new static nesting and this is my inner one and I'll also have an inner two static nesting dot inner inner 2 equals sn2 dot new inner 
and uh, before I call foo, let's just uh, set sn one dot y to one and sn two dot y to two, and I've called inner one dot foo followed by inner two dot foo, and let's just compile this now and java test so what happens is we get y equals 1 first and then y equals 2 so what's going on here is we are saying that um, go to the static nesting class uh, and not the intf interface that i'm implementing here go to this class and for this class i want um, sn1.y or I want sn2.y depending on whoever called the foo method that's what this this means so it's going to be replaced by sn1 or sn2 something like that so uh, that's another thing that I wanted to show and um, um, this video is already 11 minutes so I think I'll uh, stop here for now I think I should uh, for more clarity do another video on local inner classes and also cover anonymous classes in that. So I'll see you there.